G'day folks, this is a quick demonstration of how many amps this transformer is uh, experiencing its short circuit. This is the one I was playing with the other night with the sliding shunt or core, whatever you want to call it. It's a welding transformer. So I've uh, put a current transformer and meter through or over the uh, secondary cable, shorting cable, and we'll see what kind of current we get through it. This was suggest suggested by Alex. The core out 200 amps, which is what the machine was rated for. Input current's 25 amps. And I've got the heat pump running on the same circuit. I'm surprised the breaker hasn't gone off yet. Turn the heat pump off. Should get a few more supply amps now. The heat pump is running. <laughs> Made much of a difference, a tiny bit more. So, yeah, serious amps. Uh, the way I believe the core on this works is that it's like a current shunt. Uh, as soon as you remove it, the magnetic fields can flow freely and you induce a lot more current in the secondaries than, when you, than you do when the uh, shunt is in place. So yeah, that's about it. I'm going to butcher this thing and rewind it with some uh, more serious cable now. It's a fairly substantial welding transformer. And there'll be plenty of room to rewind this whole area here with uh, railway cable. So that's coming up a little bit later on. I think before it rains I'm going to do a few things outside. A little bit warm. Probably should have had gloves on before I grabbed that, but it's not too hot. <laughs> Would have known if it was really hot. Not like last night's one where they were glowing red hot. That was fun. Oh, thanks for watching.